So moving on from the discovery process, the end goal or the end game is to come up with a minimum viable product or the MVP. So what is the MVP? An MVP is an artifact. By the way, when I say artifact, it's important to understand this is not necessarily a product. It may be a concept, a prototype, a video. It might be any artifact that communicates what the product is going to be about. And it also consists of only the minimal features, just only what the customer needs in order to be able to validate or test. So basically the idea of MVP is that I avoid building really expensive and really high frills and, and, and sophisticated products without first establishing the need for the core customers and understanding what the core problem that I need to solve. So in the MVP definition, let's break down the definition. Minimum means that I only focus on the one or two problem that I really need to solve. No bells, no whistles, right? When Facebook started, Facebook was only about finding friends and sharing information with them. Now it's also communicating with friends. It is also sort of sharing stories, videos, and other sorts of things. Those are things that come later, right? It's really important as an entrepreneur to focus on the one core problem that you're going to solve. Don't get distracted. Don't try to do too much. Don't boil the ocean. You know, that's the idea of minimum. Viable. In viability, we're asking two things. Will they use it? And will they pay for it? And by the way, also, can we build it? Product can be any artifact. It can be a prototype, a business concept, a commercial product, right? You don't actually have to build the entire product for having it to have an MVP. So let's look at the idea of MVP thinking or lean thinking or gorilla thinking or hacker thinking and how you need to actually test and build an MVP that is cheaper. So here's a case study. So, you know, there's a precision farming company and the, the, the hypothesis that they want to test is that if I create a way for farmers to analyze what's going on in their field by doing analytics on the crop, you know, for instance, I can measure the humidity of the soil. I can measure what nutrients are required by the soil. I can measure the height and the health of the crop. I can look at any pests that are forming or any disease that the crop might have. How would I do this in terms of an MVP? By the way, my end goal is to, to create a drone that is equipped with a hyperspectral camera. By the way, hyperspectral camera means the camera has a very high range that is looking at, you know, uh, because I can then use infrared and other sorts of spectrum elements to get at different insights. So I build a drone. So the conventional thinking is I buy a drone, I buy a hyperspectral camera, I write the image processing software, I do the system integration, and then I test it out. But here's the problem. I built the whole damn thing, right? And at the end of the day, you might find there's no market for it. Here's the MVP thinking or hacker thinking on the MVP. You rent a plane, you rent a camera, you fly over the field manually, you process the data manually, you go to farmers, you show them the data, and you say, well, you going to, will you pay for it? You can do this in two days, at one or two days of effort and much lower cost. Now, you know what is the problem with this approach? It's not scalable, right? And it's also expensive. But this, is, this has much higher fixed costs. The hacker thinking has higher variable costs, but low fixed costs, and it's also very agile. So, so when you're thinking in MVP terms, think about really creative ways to test an idea or a hypothesis cheaply rather than building out the whole concept. So these artifacts or MVP artifacts can be of different types. They can be an explainer video, which is a short video that explains what your product's gonna be about, your service. It can be a concierge MVP, which instead of providing the product, we start with a manual service where we use a lot of manual processes that simulate what my ultimate process might look like. It can be a piecemeal MVP, where I actually look at the steps that customers might go through in my purchase journey. It might be a crowdsourced MVP, where I use Kickstarter or Indiegogo to actually help customers give input into my MVP. Or it can be a single feature MVP, where I test out only one feature. You know, here's a case study of uh, a concierge MVP. Grubhub, you know, which is an online food ordering service that connects diners with local takeout restaurants. Before they created the service, the founders wanted to validate whether customers would pay for it, what types of restaurants do they need to have, how much can they charge for delivery. So all those hypotheses were they could test before they actually had a system in place by manually picking up, they created an app, and when customers would order, they would manually pick up the orders, 
go to the restaurants and manually actually deliver the orders to the customers. So this allowed them to test the hypothesis without actually having to build out the whole customer network and acquiring restaurants and so on. And now they're doing another MVP test for a rapid pickup, which is basically the notion is that you can uh, order ahead of time and then pick up from the restaurant. So MVP thinking in other words is think lean, think about quick and dirty and think about how you can test something with a uh, you know, chewing gum and rubber band to assemble what your ultimate product or service might look like, but do it fast.